Thomas Jefferson wrote, if the American people ever allow the banks to control the issuance of their currency, first by inflation and then by deflation, the banks and corporations that will grow up around them will deprive the people of all property until their children will wake up homeless on the continents their fathers occupied. See, what the Federal Reserve Act of 1913 did was give this private banking cartel a total monopoly of printing money. So what you had here was a complete takeover of the government of the United States by these private bankers. They've owned it ever since. 100 years after Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln was pondering the same issues when he said, the government should create, issue, and circulate all the currency. Creating and issuing money is the supreme prerogative of government and its greatest creative opportunity. Adopting these principles will save the taxpayers immense sums of interest, and money will cease to be the master and become the servant of humanity. Uh, every $100 bill which uh, the Federal Reserve System prints and is sold to the United States at full face value represents a hundred dollar loan. Even though the government pays for it, they still pay interest and it becomes, that's what your four trillion dollar debt is, are the Federal Reserve notes. What do the fears expressed by Jefferson and Lincoln have to do with today's murmurings about something called the New World Order? And incidentally, it was Woodrow Wilson who first proclaimed the New World Order. It was the creation of the Federal Reserve that put the cap on this whole revolution because that's what it was. It was a revolution that overthrew the traditional American system, the traditional government of the United States. There is a controversy raging everywhere in America today. Everywhere, that is, except in our major media. A controversy that goes to the very heart of who we are. Are we citizens of the greatest democracy on the face of the earth? Are we captains of our own fate? Or are we merely pawns in the geopolitical strategies of shadowy international financiers? Financiers that may even control our own Federal Reserve. Do groups like the Bilderbergers, the Council on Foreign Relations, the Trilateral Commission, and the Federal Reserve control what happens here in America? Tonight we're going to see some evidence that they might. Tonight we're going to see some evidence that there may just be masters of the universe. Tonight we will visit the scene of a crime so perfect that for almost 30 years no one knew that it had even taken place. The secret birth of a criminal conspiracy to rob not just one, but each and every bank vault in America, all at the same time. And in between, we've got wars, assassinations, and Martians. In fact, if it weren't for the Martians, you might have heard about this mother of all conspiracies long ago.